Good afternoon guys and welcome back to another video here in Eastern Europe. Today we are in Romania and we are in the capital city of Romania. This is Bucharest. Now we're actually coming right on here. This is a place known as Piazza Universiti. I think that's how you pronounce it. Don't trust me on my Romanian, it's terrible, but that is the area. It's a beautiful little area and it's near the old town here in Bucharest. Now there's a lot of delicious foods that are supposed to be in this area. And so tonight we are going on a food tour of Bucharest. We're gonna be trying local street food, we're gonna be trying cafeteria food, we're gonna be trying some desserts, and I'm really excited to share all with you guys in today's video because Bucharest is supposed to be one of the greatest food cities in all of Eastern Europe. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start our street food tour here in Romania's capital, Bucharest. Let's go. Alright, first stop of the day, we have come to a place. It's known as Cartofisserie. And the reason I wanted to come to this place is because I saw it actually back when I was in Brasov as well. Um, I saw it in other towns, but I never got the chance to try it and it seems like it's a really really popular fast food sort of thing, a fast street food thing that a lot of Romanians like to eat. But without further ado, let's go ahead and see what I got. I got some fried chicken wings, which are spicy, with some fries and a sauce which is called samurai sauce. And apparently samurai sauce is chili with mayonnaise. I don't know, ask the Japanese whether that's samurai sauce, but that's what it is here in Romania. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get the fries. Let's just dip it right inside the sauce and let's go ahead and try it out. Mm. Oh, yeah. Nice, crispy, delicious fried potatoes right there. Sauce, slightly spicy, a little bit spicy, but the perfect flavor profile for me. Um, Let's go ahead and try the chicken wing. You can see the chicken wing is a little bit redder in color because it is spicy. It is a spicy chicken wing. I'm just gonna try it out first by itself because I wanna know what the flavor of the chicken is like and the flavor of the spice. So if it needs more spice, we'll add more sauce, but if not, it should be perfect. Let's try it out. Oh, oh wow. Not too spicy, but for me, it's a very almost herbal spice. Like, chili, almost like a Thai chili basil spice. I don't know why I'm getting that flavor. The chicken inside, super, super juicy. I, I can actually see the chicken just glistening right now from the lights that are reflecting on it. It's really juicy. The batter, the thinnest, tiniest little layer of batter. I mean, chicken wings in the US are not fried this well. I mean, that's for sure. I mean, the chicken is really, really juicy. It's gleaming with juice. I mean, literally, I'm looking at it, I can see droplets of juice forming on the edge. The skin really, really thin, like a really thin layer. Like I said, it's red. It's red because it's a little bit spicy. I do think we could maybe put some sauce. So let's go ahead and try it out and put some sauce. Hmm. I don't know, both of them works. The sauce adds a little bit of a different type of spice to it because it's not like the Thai chili with basil spice. It's more of a creamier mayo and chili spice. But definitely, if you like spicier, you could add it. For me, it's the chicken. The fact that the chicken is so tender and so juicy on the inside, that's what really sets it apart. I mean, total price of this is like 29 lei, which is not the most affordable, um, but very, very worth it for the price and very, very delicious. The size is quite big, so I will give it that. The size is quite big. You only get six chicken wings, which unfortunately isn't a lot. And the chicken wings, I have to say, I'm gonna complain, they're a little bit small. They're small chicken wings. I would rather have bigger chicken wings, but really, really good. And the sauce, definitely samurai sauce. Interesting combination, but uh, very, very different to what I expected. But the chicken, definitely. That's the juicy thing. That's the delicious thing that you really have to try when you come to Carta Fishery. They have a lot of other chicken wings that you can get, but I do like the chicken wings a lot. That was a delicious way to start off the evening. Ooh, some good fries, some good fried chicken. Let's go see what else we can get here in the city of Bucharest. Shawarma Vita, small one, uh, small, and then one braga. Alright, next 
next stop of the day, we've come to a place known as Coltea Kebab, and they're famous for kebabs. Now, Bucharest, Romania is quite close to Turkey. Like this part of the world is quite close to Turkey, quite close to the Middle East, which is why there's a bunch of kebab shops. But first off, I have a drink called Braga. What is it? I have no clue. But apparently a traditional Turkish drink. I didn't actually try it in Turkey before, so I don't know. Let's go ahead and try it out and see what it tastes like. Ooh, wow. That's like a sweet, sweet barley rice drink, something like that. Oh, wow, that is very, very interesting. Very, very sweet, but in a sweet, not in like a sugary way, but it's sweet in a very natural, almost like, like barley sort of taste. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really, really good. Did not know it, did not, never knew. I, didn't, I went to Turkey and I didn't even know it. Apparently it is a Turkish thing, but I don't know. All right, anyways, the main thing I got here is a shawarma vita. Vita in Romanian is beef, so this is a beef shawarma. I got it spicy, so you can see there's a bit of a red dollop of chili right on the top. Without further ado, let's go ahead and bite right in. Okay, yeah, there's a lot going on in that bite. First off, the chili is the first thing that hits you, right? But it's not a very spicy, spicy chili, but it's a very sweet, almost like a Thai sweet chili sauce, almost. That is some of the most tender beef I've ever had, hands down. The beef, you can see, little very, very thin layers, to the point where it's just like, it's just like very thin pieces of beef that are just so fragile and so delicate. You got potato fries at the bottom, so you got some fries at the bottom, and you have this almost minty sauce. This sort of minty, like like white sauce, which he puts, you can see he puts it in um, right below the chili. That adds a bit of a minty flavor, and then on top of that, you get an herbal flavor from the dill. The dill that comes in, it, it adds like another dimension to the flavor. And then of course you've got the crispy cabbage, you've got the crispy red cabbage, um, and it just adds so many different things going on. For me, what I really love is that the beef is so tender. The thin, thin, thin slices of beef really creates like a, almost like a melt in your mouth beef texture to it. But yeah, the spiciness, I wish it was a little bit spicier. I would handle better if, uh, if it was more spicier, but still, really, really good. The shawarm, the, the actual skin, you can see he toasts it on the outside. Very, very nice, toasty and charred. You can see the char marks on the outside of the actual dough itself, but really, really delicious. Total price for both of these was 31 lei, which is, again, almost the same price as the uh, fries and chicken that we had at the earlier place. I mean, this is literally right on the street, one of the main streets here in Bucharest, and it is delicious. Like, it absolutely is delicious. Highly, highly recommend if you come here, get the chance to try this. Um, the beef for me is really good. They also serve chicken shawarmas, but I chose beef since we just had chicken, but still, nonetheless, really, really good. If you want a good place that's open 24 hours a day, this might be the place for you just to have a nice shawarma or a nice donor before you head into the old town or whatever you're doing at night here. Well, that was, that was definitely a delicious meal. Ooh, those, uh, that shawarma, very good. The beef, very, very delicate. Really, really impressed me with the beef. I mean, the flavor of the spiciness of the chili with the, the creaminess of the minty sauce at the end and everything. Great, great, great meal. Um, and, you know, Romanian priced, yes, it's a little bit pricey for Romania, but still, we're in the city center. Yeah, I know you can't compare it to like a little town in Romania, but nonetheless, delicious. Um, let's go ahead and see what else we can try here in the city of Bucharest. Thank you. Thank you so much. After what I've had, I am starting to get kind of full, so I walked around the old town and I saw this place. It's called Clat Eat Ari, and a lot of people were lining up, so I have a good feeling about what this is. They serve what they say is traditional Bucharest pancakes, but first off, there's this orange juice thing that I saw that she was making. Um, let's go ahead and try out what orange juice is like here in Bucharest, because I've tried orange juice everywhere around the world. I haven't tried it here in Romania, so let's go ahead and try it out. Ooh. Okay, that's really special. There's no pulp, there's no actual fruit in it. It's very orangey for sure, but there's a honey taste to it. And I think that's right because I think I mentioned something about honey. So they put a little bit of honey as a sweetener to the orange juice. What I got obviously was a pancake. They're genuine Bucharest pancakes. And this type of pancake is called the White Dream. Apparently there's white chocolate, there's Raffaello. 
um, and it's just all mixed in this pool. The thing is, it's melting as I'm speaking because the crepe itself is hot, but the ingredients put inside are cold and melting. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get a piece right here on the side. Um, you can see there's some like berries and things as well, but it looks really, really good. Um, let's go ahead and try it out. Oh, yeah, very good. Not only is there a very sweet, milky, white chocolatey flavor, there's a very fruity flavor that comes from berries that she's put inside. I think blueberries, raspberries, maybe strawberries. And that sort of soaks in to the actual dough itself to make a very nice berry-ish, white chocolate-ish flavor. And on top of that, what I really like is that the berries, like for example, raspberry or blackberry, provides like a nice little crunch, like a nice little thing that you can crunch into um, because of the seeds, you know, of, of the raspberry and everything. Really, really good. Um, the price of this right here is I think like what, 20 lei, I think. So 20 lei for this, which it's quite reasonable, quite reasonable for the portion, especially it's because it's a big crib and they cut it into like um, 12 different sections. But really, really delicious. And right here in the old town, it's open until midnight. So people usually like come here, get a crepe before they go clubbing, which is honestly a great idea. Like nothing better than having a pancake here before you go out clubbing. But this definitely tastes really good. And this is a great way to sort of end off the day with a little nice sweet dessert here in the old town. But anyways, I know this is a pretty short video. It's just our, just our first night here in Bucharest. I just wanted to get some food, see what it's like. There were some places I wanted to try that were not open today. Some places that are open, but I'm not really in the mood to eat right now because I literally just had a donor kebab, a, sh a shawarma. So not in the mood to eat another donor kebab. Um, but still, we've got more videos coming here from Bucharest. We've got more food videos coming here. So make sure to stay tuned. And I will see you guys on the next video here from the city. The city has a lot to offer, so make sure to stay tuned. And I will see you guys on the next one. Subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it, comment down below. And I will see you guys on the next video here from Bucharest, Romania.